What's going on you guys? I'm the Broke Collector here today with a review on the Power Rangers Lightning Collection SBD A Squad Red Ranger. And before we start off this review, I'd like for you to subscribe, ring that notification bell, hit the like, and let me know if you were excited for this figure, because I am. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure itself in the box. So, here's the front of the package, there's a giant window. It says Power Rangers Lightning Collection SBD A Squad Red Ranger, so it has no figure right there. You turn it to the side, you can see a full image of the A Squad Red Ranger. And if you have the back, there's there's a, there's a 3D render of the figure. There's another side of the figure. If you have keep the boxes, I sometimes do, most of them I do. Anyway, there's the top of the package, nothing really going on. And there's the bottom. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and oh, crack this thing open. And here she is out of the packaging looking really cool. I mean, man, is she awesome. But before we take a look at the figure, we're going to take a closer look at the accessories she comes with. And here are all of her, her accessories out of the packaging. She does come with one gun, one blast effect, which we've seen, and one pair of hands, one karate chopping can, and one fisted hand. So real quick, we'll go ahead and take a look at her gun. And man, it's mostly just black, really nice. And it has an SBD logo right there, an SBD right there as well. See if I can get the focus. That works. And yeah, I mean, it looks great. And yeah, I love it. And here is her hand. She has one karate chopping hand, you know what to expect. It's mostly just the same female black. It's just a female hand, just painted in black. And she does have a gun holding hand. Those look really nice. And then she has her fisted hand. And yeah. And then she also has one blast effect. So yeah, I mean, also, it's a metallic purple. Or a p metallic pink or red. I would say it's a red. There are metallic whites in there. Oh, that's nice. And now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the figure. And now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the figure itself. So, real quick, if you didn't know about SBD A Squad, then, uh, wow. I mean, if you're a Power Ranger fan, and you're a fan of the Disney era and you don't remember the A Squad, where were you, dude? I mean, also, if you didn't know a little brief history on the helmet, they ran out of props to use, so they made their own. They used the in-space red helmets, or the in-space helmets, and they just modified them. Added some stuff on top, and yeah, that's pretty cool, right? And, yeah, I mean, they really nailed this. The, uh, the likeness of the character. And it does say SPD right there. Get to focus. And, yeah, you know. Looks really nice. And I love it. I mean, man. The, uh, they have so many new things on here. You know, it says SPD right there. There's A Squad. It says A, a for A Squad on the shoulder pads right here. There's the back of the figure, which they really got. I don't like how that is. Actually, this comes off. I forgot. But yeah. The, the shoulders and everything. And then here's the side, you know. Here's the legs, just pretty average, you know, just with different boots. So there's an A right there for A Squad. You know, there's not much to look at, but what there is, again, is really good. They really nail what there is supposed to look at. Like, I, I like it a lot. Uh, and just to show you, demonstrate how you can take off the vest. You could just uh, unport that, and then you take off the head, that's what I like to do, and just pull it off. Pull it over the head, take it like that, and then boom, you just got a regular female figure, right? Let me just, uh, M, let me just grab Trini, and yep, they're just the same. Like I said, they're mostly all slightly retooled or repaint. Slightly tool retooled of the same body mold. So, 
yeah. And now let's go ahead and do some size comparisons. So first off, we have her B Squad counterpart, SPD Red Ranger. You know, she's B, and she, he's B, and she's A, and A Squad is evil. Man. I didn't say. I forgot to say that. Yeah, A Squad is uh, evil. At the end of the series, they have A Squad face off with B Squad, and it's pretty cool. And yeah, so. And here she is, next to the Phantom Ranger. And, yeah, again, I mean, I could use him as a Black Ranger. Or a Green Ranger, a Black Ranger. For, uh, B-Squad, you know. You could probably pull it in, you know, all you gotta do is just customize this shelf. And he could be in the Sixth Ranger for B for A-Squad. Pretty cool. Anyway, and here she is, next to the Tango Warrior. And, you know, they look exactly as I would expect them to look side by side. Pretty cool. Again, she, he's mostly just uh, a minion, so not really a big bad. And here she is next to the big bad, Lord Zed from the 2-pack, 25th anniversary 2-pack. And yeah, I love how these two scale. I could, I could put these two side by side. You know, if I bought all five of the uh, A Squad Rangers along with the 2-pack that I don't want. And anyway, I could put them all side by side, and that would be pretty cool. Good way, you know. Anyway, here she is next to the only other evil ranger I have. Fighting Spirit, Green Ranger, even though he's not really evil. It's, the Green Ranger it was evil, it doesn't matter, you know what I mean. And here she is next to my favorite lightning collection figure so far, the Magna Defender. Great figure, you know. I if When they beat it, and they will beat it, it has to live up to what I expect. I expect a lot. And I will get into it in a review with him in the future. And here she is next to the last Lightning Collection figure I reviewed, Pudgy Pig. And yeah, I love how these two look side by next to each other, you know? Put, uh, put a putty right there, and then throw in some, uh, some of the Tango Warriors. Boom. You got this. Hey, good. And yeah, looks great. And here she is next to the last figure I reviewed, the Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary, Captain America. Man, is that a damn near perfect figure right there. Right here if you want to see it. And here she is next to... I was going to say Studio Series. Wow. Transformers War for Cybertron. Netflix. Soundwave. I think it's a deluxe. I think they sold it as a deluxe or a Voyager. I don't remember how they sold it. I know it was in a deluxe in a Netflix, in a white box. And yeah, it looks. I love this figure. I do think it is now out of date with the blaster though. That has come out in time recent recently. So I do think they might need an updated version of it. But you know, I'm happy with this one. Oh no damn. And here she is, next to the Lightning Collection, Red Ranger. Not much to say. And here she is next to NECA's GMK, Godzilla. And Godzilla vs. the Power Rangers came out, and oh my god, Godzilla is finally fighting the Power Rangers. Uh. And here she is next to All-American, Ben Riley. And yeah, you know, this is her first figure. And this is Ben Riley's first figure. I mean, wow. There's not much to say. I was gonna make a Ben Riley joke. I, I don't have much to say. I'm not going much off of this. But hey, at, at least we got A Squad. You know, I think this is the first A Squad figure we have. I yes, it is. It is. We did. I know. I, I'm getting confused because I saw this guy do a custom from it. I don't have an image of it. Anyway, yeah. Ben Riley. Now it's time for the head swap. But anyway, yeah, for this head swap, I will be using the uh, ghost head, the alternate head that came with ghost. So maybe it'll look like the. I thought I figured it looked a little bit like the actress who played Charlie, like a a Squad Red Ranger. And if you want to, I mean, it kind of works. You just gotta put the hair back. You kinda gotta cut the hair. I don't know. It's up to you. You have to really customize it. 
but uh, it looks okay. I I think I think it looks like her, and it kind of does. Just unless you have a, another figure that would look like Charlie, let me know. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into articulation in just a second. Let me pop her head back on. And now let's get into articulation. She can look up that much. Look down that low. Head tilting here and there. Heads do move up to full 360. Arms do move a full 360. Get hindered by this here and there. But it is a soft plastic. It will get out of the way. Can T pose. Give me one second. Can, uh, can T pose. That. Like that. Like so. Uh, butterfly joints that move side to side and all the way right there. Uh, upper thigh, uh, no, really, no thigh cut. Oh, well, upper, well, uh, uh, I'm lost for words. Um, yeah, uh, or a forearm rotation. Uh, all hands do move side to side and turn up and down, right? Yep, they all hinge up and down. And can approach forward, and this does get hindered by everything but they have a uh, diaphragm pivot like so and move back that much using the diaphragm pivot and everything and forward that much that much again it does get hindered by that vest side side to side can kick forward that much back a tiny bit beautiful spread upper thigh cut double jointed knees that meet right there Boot rotation, ankles do move up, they do move down, and she does have ankle pivot. And here are my final thoughts for the SBD A Squad Red Ranger. And yeah, this is money well spent right here. Especially because I have Jack, and I didn't even mean to pick up Jack back when back when I before I even started the channel. And now it's all makes works. I like it. And yeah, I mean um the figure itself is an okay figure it the, it makes up for the again for the with the uh the, everything that's new everything that's new it makes up for it the body mold is a nice body mold it's the pink rain it's the um female body mold <clears throat> excuse me and then you also have the uh the gun you know the gun those are all we use those are they're all, all the a squad rangers have the same gun but the paint app, the paint application is nice, even though there's not much to look at. They have paint app on it. They have paint on it. The red paint stripes are pretty clean. And then it's just a great figure. I mean, sure, yeah, the weapon holding hands. I know some people get upset because it doesn't come with the proper ones. Unlike the Magna Defender, which came with so many hands. And yeah, I love. I I mean, yeah, of course I love Magna Defender, but. I wish she came with more hands, you know, would have been nice to have proper hands, and it's okay. <clears throat> I mean, it, I, I would have loved it even more if it came with a Charlie head sculpt, but no, it, it, she didn't. Maybe uh, maybe a Watt Hope Van Dyne figure might, might work on it, I don't, I do own it, however, my doggo got it, so. My dog has gotten a lot of toy, a lot of figures. Anyway, but out of ten, uh, out of ten, I would rate this figure a seven, seven out of ten. It's a great figure. Again, I mean, I only like it because it's A Squad, and I've been, I love A Squad. Come on, who doesn't love A Squad? And with that being said, you guys, thank you for making it this part of the video. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you are going to pick up any of the Ace Combat figures. I mean, I'm probably going to try and pick up three, maybe. Uh, if not, it doesn't happen. If it's not meant to be, it won't happen. I won't. Uh, then it depends on if I find them or not. Anyway, remember to follow me at, on Instagram at Jacob Lopez Oof or The Broke Collector. And remember, stay awesome.